What's up everybody, it's your boy Jeff back in with another video and today I just want to make a short video about the new service that Apple has which is uh, Apple Arcade and as you know that with a new update with the iOS 13 for the iPhones and the iPad OS 13 which is what I'm going to use for the simple fact that I do have the phone and you can also use it on any iOS device but for the simple fact that you know bigger screen you guys can get a better look of what I'm doing it's easier to explain to you how this works now Apple Arcade what is it what is a subscription based app or service that for $4.99 a month you could play all the games that they have available on their arcade subscription system um, a lot of indie five, uh, titles could come up and you know a lot of you know triple a titles i guess also may come up and you get to play them unlimited as long as you pay that 4.99 a month right now the first month is free so i'm testing it out and it's as easy as this now first thing you got to do update your device to ios 13 if you have a iphone or ipad os 13 they changed it now it's not ios 13 on the ipad it's ipad os and that will give you the ability to hook up any controller to your system so right now look what i'm using i'm gonna use the ps4 you could also use the xbox one controller right here so hey just for the heck of it let's hook up the ps4 controller so we start with this step now go into your device hit this right here bluetooth right there okay and then after you hit bluetooth we're going to take our controller if you have a ps4 i think the two buttons you have to you know press so it could go into like connection mode is share right here and the home button so you hold them both simultaneously you're going to see the blinking hold it down see see that little blinking you see now that's it and it just starts showing up over here and there it goes there it goes so zoom up i'll bring it up so you guys can see see right there it says dual shot four so we gotta just connect it and wait and it says connected up here so go back to the home screen and you gotta go into your app store and i'm already in arcade but right here in the bottom see you go in, in today's right now right here in the bottom it says arcade so you click arcade and there goes all your arcade games if you have not set it up i already set it up all you have to do is set up it's going to ask you for your you know um apple id and the password and then you agree that you want to subscribe you get the first month free after that you know what I'm saying you get a monthly charge of 4.99 just go and click on arcade if you haven't clicked this part here and it'll guide you through it it's like buying a song so you're already familiar already with the ios ecosystem um shouldn't be hard see that so now these are the games that i have the apps i mean the arcade games that i do have um i did download this one right here the sonic racing so let's test the sonic racing out with the ps4 controller there goes arcade so we'll bring down the camera just a bit so you guys get a better feel of this and let me bring up the sound so you guys can hear it also and bring up the camera there it goes there it goes guys there it goes so let me set up the camera here real nice so you guys can see Okay. Use the left stick to steer. The only thing has gas, it just runs on its own. So I just gotta steer basically with this one. It's just basically steering here with the with the controllers. So push the whisk button to fire at the rival. Alright, so which one is the whisk button? You gotta find out which one is the whisk button. I'm gonna hit all these buttons.
the response almost instantly so the response is pretty cool pretty fast like I said it doesn't need gas it's like the old Sonic it just goes on its own and you just like steer it working beautiful all right I suck in this game but that's basically it this is a very simplistic game let's pick some other game here well this is the one here Rayman I'll play by. let's go Rayman Mini so let's play a little Rayman Mini. There goes right there. Again, PS4 controller. Click on that. Press that there. Actual button before I get started here. See how it responds. So it says the bottom is jumped. So it's this one right here. That's jump. That's all you need to get started. So let's get it started, baby. Put the thing. I don't want to block the damn thing, but that's it right here. So the response is almost instant. It's working great. Loving it. Yeah, almost instant response. Pretty good. Pretty good. No lag. No lag at all. Miss that. I guess I gotta go back and get a good jump. Bam, bam, bam. Uh uh. I know what I'm doing wrong here. I suck at these games anyway. <laughs> Wait till the end of the flower. There we go. That's what, that's what I had to do. Made it to the end first. Pretty cool. So, anyway, let's get off this one here too. And let's go back to arcade again. So, these are the games that are already up. We're gonna go back to arcade. And we're gonna take it back. Worth it. Listen, guys, you got 30 days. You can get out anytime you want. Play around with these games, you know what I'm saying? It's a great idea, and I know why Apple is doing it because, you know, let's be real. In the gaming industry right now, the number one gaming platform in the world, where basically is that I think last time I checked, 68% of the world market share does not come from the PlayStation, does not come from the PC, does not come from the Xbox, it comes from the mobile device. Yes, your mobile device has 68% of the world market as far as money comes into the gaming industry. 68% it comes from these mobile devices. Next up is, I think, the consoles. And that's all the consoles put together do not do what the mobile does. So, I mean, you know, you, you got a stranglehold. I mean, it's a multi-billion dollar industry. So they, Apple, being Apple, they want to get into it. You know what I'm saying? I think Google has some type of service. Everybody wants a piece of the of, of the pie. So, you know what I'm saying? It makes sense. Um, like I said before, it's cool. I mean, Apple with a new iOS 13 for either for iPad or for the iOS uh, iPhones or whatnot. They do accept all your um, controllers, whether it's the PS4, um, Xbox One, you know, whatever Android has available also. So, you know what I'm saying? At least they opened that up for us, you know? And... Has a nice amount of games, and this game looks a little interesting right here. I'm not gonna play it. I mean, I let you guys, you know, play it when you get your own. Um, try it out. Like I said, it's only $4.99 a month, but the first month it is, ladies and gentlemen, free. So at least they give you the 30 days, so you could check it yourself and see if it's worth keeping or not. Is the idea good? Yes. Uh, I have to see more games. Can I recommend it right now with the games in the library right now? I really have not seen every game out there in the library, but to be continued. I will announce it. I'll play around with this for a few weeks and see if the whatever amount of games are available there. Is it worth my $4.99? Anyway, guys, this is your boy Jeff. You know, I hope this little piece of information helps you out. Hopefully you decide. Like I said before, you got 30 days to decide whether it's worth it or not. Anyway, guys, till the next time, is your boy Jeff. See ya.